Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Star Trek Armada 3. It's been a bit since we played it on the channel. I used to cover this all the time many years ago. It has been about, I think a month since this last version came out and it is officially, if you're unawares, it is officially the final version of Star Trek Armada 3. If you're unaware of what Star Trek Armada 3 is at all, it is a fantastic mod. Total conversion for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. You can find it over on Steam. I've got a link to the actual mod over on ModDB, but it adds the Romulans, the Klingons, the Federation, the Borg are in here, the Cardassians, which I think they still have their mechanic where you can split between which version of the Cardassians you want to be. Do you want to be true Cardassians, loyal to the Alpha Quadrant? Or do you want to side with the Dominion and get all the crazy Dominion ships? Basically, do you want to be Gold Ducat or do you want to be a normal Cardassian? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love it. I'm going to get some angry messages from, from Gold, one of, the, one of the devs of this. <laughs> what do you mean, real Cardassian? Hey, everybody. Good morning. So we're going to be playing some of this. Um, I was messing around with the menu. Every time you load the menu, you get a different ship. You get a different background, right? So it looks like we're in the Badlands right now. Um... And as I'm rolling around, I noticed in the background, there's a cheeky board cube just hanging out back there. Oh no. Now, a long time ago, we did a five player cooperative versus the Borg because the Borg back then, uh, when you when you loaded up the Borg as an AI player, they got all kinds of crazy like research that they could do that the players can't. That makes them super powerful. And I, I know they changed it through one of the versions and they changed it again. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if that's still a thing, but it might be. It might be. Anywho, let's dive into it. Oh, fair warning. Uh, I had the worst time actually downloading this mod. For whatever reason, it would not launch for me. And the running theory is that when you download it, there may be a couple of corrupt files from ModDB. So if you're having an issue where it's crashing on the splash screen, on the loading screen, um, you're probably going to have to just re-download the game, re -download the mod a few times and then just keep trying it until it works. Literally all I did, and this is not the first time this has happened to me, and that worked. I don't understand why, but I hope goes well. I haven't, uh, I know he was having hard times a while back. Yeah, I hope he's doing good too. I haven't had a chance to talk to him in a bit. I hope he's doing okay. Yeah, he runs, um, Gold Gaming. Or he used to. I don't think he streams anymore. I don't think he streams anymore, so. All right. Shall we get to it, everybody? I think we should. Let's get into it. Especially with me playing. There's a reason I wanted to play this. Because I've been playing a bunch of Star Trek. Um, Star Trek Art Online. Which is the new series that we've got running. And it's like, oh man, I miss... I miss having the fleet at my command. We were actually streaming it last night on Twitch. And I was actually bringing in other players into my story. So we had like a Sovereign class, speaking of which. We had two Sovereign classes hanging out with me. And yeah, it was awesome. Hey Nebula, what's up? What is up? Welcome, Welcome to the shenanigans. Uh, all right, so today's gonna be a test to see where the balance is at. Um, I think we're gonna play Federation today uh, And we're gonna do it on a small map. Do we want to go? I like that it says PVE like it knows the soul system in an alternative reality Jupiter Saturn and Uranus are not gas giants and Sentient life never evolved on earth. What? <laughs> what what kind of what kind of description is that for soul? Stovacor we've actually fought on that map before how many times? Uh, boldly go where no one has gone before. That's PvP, PvP. I wonder why they have PvE maps. Interstellar. A small system harbors two races vying for dominance. There are several ways to gain advantages. One must simply seek out and explore new worlds. Oh, I kind of like it. This is a 1v1. This would give us a chance to figure out where the balance is at. I want to figure out where the balance is. I want to do another big multiplayer. Uh, get a bunch of people together, like we did with the boar. So... But, I think I want at least a three-way fight. Wait, is that Q? Q's Judgment PvE. Uh, I think these are all going to be two players, aren't they? Yeah, they're all going to be two players. Hey, Guardsman. J Bravo, thank you for being a member for 27 months. I've never seen it pop up like that. How's it going, Shaq? You know, we need to get a video of you, Valefort, Gull, Wasted, and Altarian against the Borg again. Um, I agree. Let's go to medium map. Let's find a three-player PvE medium map. If there is one. Defiance. Named after one of my favorite ships. These go straight into five. So I guess the best you're going to get is like a four player? A bridge too far. Bajoran sector. Okay, we're going to go to the Bajoran sector. Spanning three sectors of space from Cardassia to Trill. 
relive epic battles from Deep Space Nine in this multi-sector map. Multi-sector map. All right. I wonder if it's actually got Deep Space Nine in the middle. Yeah, all the small maps for two players. Yeah, it seems like it. And then game options. All looks good to me. Normal fleet size, transwarp gates, uh, rampant militias, normal research. Excellent. Victory conditions. Let's turn a capital victory on. That way you have to hold your capital. If you lose your capital, you, you, you're done. You're done -zo. Um, And what are we going to play as? I'm leaning Federation. So here's all the races you can play as. And you can see some of our capital ships that are in there. So Federation, Klingon. I love that they used they used characters made in the in the Star Trek Online creator to make the, <laughs> the icons. <laughs> I recognize this. So you can play as like full Klingons, get Brels, get uh, Katingas. Um, you can even get their, their lovely, um, they gave them a, a proper, I remember I moaned about this for so long because their super cap was like a ship that just exploded. It was terrible. It's still optional. It's still there. Um, but there's actually a, uh, like a proper, like giant Klingon battleship now. Um, they added way back when, but Cardassians, Romulans, uh, Alti's favorite with all the cloaking devices and then the Borg get their own selection. Yes, you can make Borg cubes and all that. Though I think they balanced out the board when a player plays them, so they're not just like brokenly OP compared to the rest of the players because that wouldn't be super fun. Um, all right, let's choose Starfleet. We'll go with a, actually, let's go with the Federation logo. Oh, we'll go with the Starfleet logo. Yeah. And then let's fight against, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something silly. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put the Borg. The Borg Collective is a race of malevolent cybernetic life forms. Is there anything about their balance in here? Uh, although contact between the Borg and the Alpha Quadrant races have been limited, if left unchecked, the Borg will move to conquer the entire uh, entirety of the known galaxy and beyond. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for chat to be like, don't do it, Shaq. It's such a bad idea because they used to be so strong that you needed like an entire alliance to fight them. And I haven't played in a while, so I'm not ready for that. Let's put the Cardis in there. Um, ooh. Do we do Klingons or Romulans? We're only gonna do four. We can only choose one. I remember when this mod used a bunch of Burge Commander ships. Did they have a bunch of like fillers in there? Everybody's like, do it, just do it. <laughs> We can make allies. I don't think I've ever actually sat through and um, and made the diplomatic ships that you can make uh, other races allies with. Hit Shaq versus the Barg. So we might be able to make like an alliance. Romulans. Klingons, Romulans, Klingons, Romulans. All right, we're going to go. We're going to go Klingons because they're my favorite. Um, it's Deep Space Nine, so we need Klingons, we need Cardassians, we gotta throw the Borg in because it entertains me. I wonder if I could force them to choose, because if we if we did Cardassians, right? Uh, there's no way to do it, though, is there? Select the Union. Yeah, but we don't have a choice to select anything but the Union. Uh, I was like, let's choose the Dominion. If we can, is there an AI setting? Boldly go, get some random, oh man. Death wish random, immortal random. Why bother? And it's got a picture of a backlit. <laughs> Which is hilarious if you've been watching Lower Decks because that's not how that works anymore. Oh, the backlit. I love that it changes too. Like you put your mouse over it, look at this. You put your mouse over easy and it's why bother? And it's just the backlit. <sighs> oh man, that's great. Oh, that's good. That entertains me. I love Lower Decks so much. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. You're missing out. Okay, so Klingons, Romulans, Cardassians. Ah, this might be a terrible play, and I haven't played this in literally a year, maybe two. Um, I'm going to choose what they are, too. So we've got Strategist, Fortifier, Scientist. Let's make... Let's make the Romulans the scientists. Let's make the Klingons the strategists. That means they'll be aggressive. Let's make the Cardassians. I guess that would be aggressive, right? Actually, let's make the Klingons the fortifiers.
turn it off the Borg. Remember when the Borg first cap was the assimilation cube? Oh, I remember. I remember. Shaq versus the Borg versus the Borg versus the Borg. No, no, we're not doing it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, we are going to do the Borg. I'm not going to put the uh, Romulans on there. We'll put the Borg in there. And, oh man, this scares me. This is a terrible idea. Let's just go back to easy. I need to learn how to play again. Don't judge me. Here we go. Uh, Klingons. That's not a logo for Klingon. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it smart. We are gonna go play as. We're gonna play it on easy. Cardies. Cardies. You need like the yellow icon, and Borg. All right, there we go. Because I don't know. So the Borg, they might still get secret, super secret squirrel research that makes them stupidly strong. And I don't know yet. And I want to test this for later multiplayer. So here we go. Set it all to random. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it painful. We will leave it on random for the, you know, what their AI is. Mev. Tabby used to make fun of me for um for playing this with like the speakers on, and she'd every time she's like, "What the hell does Stovacor mean?" Now she knows because she's watched all the Star Trek with me. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is remember how to pause it. There it is, figured it out. I have changed the controls a little bit and I recommend you guys do that too. So you've got like right click to look around um, and make it so it zooms in on whatever your target is. So whatever your mouse is, it'll zoom around on. Um, and you may want to invert controls because it's a little weird. It's not like normal RTS controls in the sense. Uh, Garsman, thanks for the, the two and the five. Nah, set it all to random, that'll make it fun. <sighs> How dare you, how dare you. All right, first thing we're gonna do is build, um, they didn't give us a cap ship, did we? We have a small fleet with a couple of Excelsiors. I just like how pretty that ship is, man. Like, look, look at that. This is what the thumbnail is right now, too. And we got a couple of scout ships, a couple of Novas in the back. Almost picked up a Nova in, in Stowe. That was almost my ship. And I changed my mind. What game is this? This is Sins of a Solar Empire. But you have to say it just like that, because that's how they say it in the intro. And this is the mod, Star Trek Armada 3, which is fantastic. Did you guys know, before we unpause this, that Star Trek Armada 1 and 2, by the way, I am not sponsored by GOG. This is just cool. Um, but I should be, GOG. I can play enough old games. Um, they, they're they coming out with Star Trek Armada 1 and 2. Ah, oh, it's good coffee. Yeah, they're coming out with Star Trek Armada 1 and 2. Like, they're, they're re-releasing. All right, so let's pick up a cap ship. We're going to pick up the Ambassador, the Enterprise. Uh, what is it? What is the Ambassador? C? Is it the Enterprise C? I always forget. I always get the C, and I think the uh, C the B confused. All right, let's unpause. And then you guys are what? Combat fleet? And you're Begin scouts, scan. right? Survey. Engage. Begin Survey. Scan. Engage. End go. Prepare All right. I really need to start building stuff. Because I'm bad. But look at this warp effect before we... Oh, I left the music on. This is going to get so claimed. The coolest thing. I think I have. There we go. Turn on my, my little warp lines. So the coolest thing about Sins, if you've never played this, if you've only watched me play like Empire at War, I've got it paused. I don't have it paused. Now I have it paused. Uh, the coolest thing about this is that it is a 4X game where you can zoom all the way out. You have multiple star systems. You're exploring strange new worlds. You're colonizing and conquering. But the best part about it is it's real time in every sense of the word, right? It's also, you have full control of your fleets, unlike Stellaris. And you can go from macro scale, I can zoom all the way out and see multiple stars, all the way down to, this is why, this game's pretty old, all the way down to like some of the smallest ships. Like I can see the worker bees on the dry dock. Wait, where's the capital ship dry dock in my, in my piece of space here? Yeah, I can actually see them building the ambassador class in here. How cool is that? Anyways. Anyways, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. So if I go up to, I'm re reloading this as we go, so. Uh, try to be be kind to me. Uh, we've got our combat research, and then we've got our Federation Council research, which is gonna be your economic research. You can only research these if you build certain stations. And you can only build so many stations on planets, in orbit of planets. And there's a limit to how many that you can build. So we have to decide which direction we wanna go. Do we wanna go economic? Do we wanna go war? 
Of course, we're eventually gonna have to do one or the other, but we're gonna probably wanna focus pretty hard on one early on. And if we wanna get our economy up, we're gonna need that colonization tree, which takes how many Jupiter stations? Two to get tier one. This only matters if we've got a planet nearby that we wanna colonize that requires this. I know I'm not playing Klingon. What is this nonsense? Klingons are still my favorite, but I figured if we're going to do like an introductory to this, then the Federation is probably the way to go because people are big fans of the Fetties. Can't blame them. Um, wait, 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 wait. Why is that Excelsior just flying off on his own? Okay, you're fine. So we're going to make a group. Group one. Let's get the fleet. Oh, let's unpause. Nope, that was a screenshot. That wasn't the pause button. There we go. Okay, you guys are group one. Go ahead and move away. Um, we need that capital ship, and we need to pick up a space station. So let's go ahead. Here's our build queue. If you click the planet, you can see the build queue for that world. Um, as soon as I remember how to do this. We're going to go with the Jupiter type. Get that economy going. I'm going to stick that back here. So we're building ourselves a space station. Little worker bees will come Planetary over and work on it. Detected. Romulans are better than Klingons, Nebula. How dare you? We have contact of a strange new world. Two Condor Light, no, six Condor Light Raiders and a Jaeger Destroyer. There are, um, how do I put this? There are Planetary factions that exist on these worlds like this, and they're not all friendly. And if I want these worlds, I have to remove these hostile races. Um, I gotta go make first contact with my photon torpedoes. Oh, the Jaeger, where is that ugly piece of crap? Condors are cool, Jaegers though, that's a Light Raider. Uh, so this is a Maquis planet. Oh, get out of there, Nova! Come to warp! Suck it. Where's the Planetary Jaeger? System detected. Prepare bow, bow, bow. There's our other Nova just slipping through the system. So we're going to need a few more combat ships if we're going to want to fight through some of these sectors. Looks like this map is pretty... Let's build a few sabers. Let's just kind of max out on sabers. Ship Can't go wrong with those. Right-click this so we can get our fleet to move as a group. So they'll all go to warp at the same time, even though some of these uh, can line up for warp a lot faster. And did we get... We await your command. There she is. Our first capital we're ship. And if we're going to have it, it's going to be called the USS Prepare the Extra base. Parts. Planetary system. I'll let you guys name the rest of them, but this one is mine. And we're going to take Colonize as our first... It's the only flagship that gets colonized for the Federation, I think. Wow, she's pretty. Look at her. Music is good. This is going to so get claimed. All right, join up as one big group. Let's get a few more of those combat vessels online. Uh, can you pump, pump those um, escort ships out a little faster, please? Prepare the docking bays. Oh, Nebula, speaking of bridge commander, I got, I picked up all the Star Trek games off of... Um, off of GOG. What the hell? Oh, they're like auto building a star base. Probably to keep rushes from happening. Be ready for I think I remember that was like a thing that they did. Give the uh, so we're getting a free star base, which you can research into if you want to go super defensive. Uh, I say we engage Elm, Trill 2. Heading. We'll head out there. Apparently this is, the, we're, we're defending the world of Trill because that's what they gave us. I've ordered the fleet to jump to warp I also need to start my research Adjusting process. We can get prospecting scanners, interstellar comms. This will give us trading stations. Let's go for interstellar comms. Hey, All Fleet, where did you go? Ready. There they are. Watch them come out of warp. Oh, they already have. And they're about to engage hostile Maquis Raiders. Oh, look at the shield effects. Flips over a box of old game case. Where's the copy of Sins? Uh, I wonder if you could use the old, the, the disc copy. I haven't put my disc copy out in over, over a decade and a half. To be honest, I've been playing this, the, um, man, this looks so great. Especially coming off of playing a whole bunch of Star Trek Online. Love it. Fire the Rio Torpedoes. We need to get some more abilities. That capital ship, by the way, will level up. It's got a little bit of an RPG system. Hello, Cardassians! Why can't I zoom in on stuff? My zoom mode isn't working. Oh, probably because I turned off... Yeah, I turned off the camera button. Yeah, that's Cardassian scout ship. I don't like it. I wonder if this is the Cardassian scout ship from Next Generation. The one that crash-landed on the planet with Jordy. Ah, get wrecked, Bucky! 
We await your Poor Maki. They don't deserve any of this. So we're gonna capture this. We're gonna get some mines put in. I hear beaming going on. What? Oh, there's the Jaeger. Oh man, talk about having extra parts. This has got to be the second ugliest ship in Starfleet next to the Obelith. I said it and I meant it. <laughs> Interstellar trading. Hey, we can get T9 trading posts. Which I think was what? The triple episode, wasn't it? Can I get more trading posts here? <gasps> or... Oh man, I don't know. If I go with the military one, we can get Miranda's really early and that'll help us take over more territory. Or we could start making them credits. Let's do a trading post. What kind of slot do you take? You take a logistics slot. Oh, I can get both. Hmm. Tempting. All right, we'll get an Aries too. We'll do a mix. Oh, look at it. I just recently watched that. That episode with the Tribbles. Get out of here, Cardies. See you, being Cardassian. The Jaeger class is horrible to look at, right? I love the Intrepid, but man, the Jaeger just does not work, does it? That was a kit bash. We await your command. Helm, bring us about. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a good chance. Like, don't be shocked if I get my butt kicked. It has been ages since I played, and I know I'm not playing in any way optimally. That's okay, it's part of the fun. Relearning how to play. So what does scanners do? It increases the extractor output by 8%, and I can get two of those, bring it up to 15, hell yeah. So what it's talking about is this. You can actually get these little mines. So more territory you take, you can definitely go wide in this. Was uh, and hey, we even got an immediate um, uh, refinery there. I think if you upgrade the colony command. thing here, yeah, it gives you free extractors and we've got some enemy set. fighter problems. But now that we've got a colony set up, which our ship was set to auto do, they will actually animate too. You'll see them send, uh, send shuttles. Let's get, mm, let's get all the mines online. You can only build as many as there are asteroids worth mining. Let's get a trading post, which is probably going to eat up all of our logistics slots, but we can do some uh, investment to get more logistics slots. And I think we'll be able to get one research station there as well, which is what we're going to go for. Let's get out of here. These damn runabout attack groups. If you don't have an anti-fighter ship, these runabouts are just going to sit there and harass you. For whatever reasons, phasers don't work against them. <laughs> So until we research anti-fighter, those are going to be here until they time out. They run out of fuel. I think. I think they run out of fuel after a while. Man, I hope so. At least until, or what, Galaxy Quest TV series ever happens. Did y'all know that they're doing a Babylon 5 remake? I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I... Maybe it'll get more people to watch the original, because the original research? holds up incredibly well. And it's one of my favorite sci-fis. So I can't imagine them actually making it better. Like, I would prefer a remaster over a remake, hands down. Oh, Miranda, come to me. I need you. I love that I have to research into a Miranda, but not a con not a Connie class. <laughs> Don't forget full civilian infrastructure. Civilian infrastructure. Oh, right, to get the population up. Because there's taxes in space. Uh, I can do... Oh, I did civilian infrastructure. I didn't do the logistical I development. Oops. Can we go to war? Orders. I'm really sick of them shooting at us. We're not aligned yet. So the problem with keeping everybody in the fleet like this and making them jump together All is that you're waiting on the slowest ship. I did give the order, right? Yeah, I gave the order. I just don't know what we're waiting on. And go. Or maybe they Station disabled one of the warp drives. Helm, bring us about. I'm giving the order again. Adjusting coordinates. Adjusting coordinates. Back to Trill. That is so gorgeous. All right. Sad so many of the B5 vets have passed away. Oh, the cast, the cats have passed away. Yeah, yeah. Waiting orders. We're... It's a bummer. 
Um, when Delin's actress passed away, that one hit me harder than I expected. Who the hell is this? It's a Maquis homeworld. Research. Oh, holy crap, does it have a lot? That's a fact. That's not even. That's a sub faction, by the way. Into their cruisers. Prepare the docking bays. Two destroyer. Five destroyers and two cruisers. Um, let's go here. There's only a couple of Maki raiders there. So I'm setting a course. Where the hell are you going? Give the word. Oh, you're my Nova. Wow, you're still alive? No, you're not. You're a saber. Where are you going? At least I'll get some sensor readings on what's here. Oh, what are you guys? I don't know what episode those are from. I don't recognize them. Gonna lose sensor contact, though, because the ship just left. They better not touch the iconic boom tomorrow. That's a, just big shoes to fill, man. To do Babylon 5. Big shoes to fill. All right, we can build Mirandas now. I'm going to get five Mirandas. I am banking credits right now. I need to make some money. Let's go ahead and do... We, do, we have full research. We can do social specialization if we want. No. Can't get cruisers yet. Don't have the technology. We can do some research. Let's get that going. Um, let's get some phaser research in. And let's get some shield research. Adaptive harmonics. This will just increase our shield and resistance research. numbers. We could get a Norway destroyer. I think these are used to bombard planets. We could get high speed training for our Ares. Or our, not our Ares, our Sabres. That's actually good. Adjusting That's an ability for the Saber escorts. We'll pick those up. Battle stations. I hopefully in UBO5 go different we characters. I would. Plan. How could you ever expect to replace Jakar? Right? Like, would they just be completely new characters? Will it be in the same universe, or is it a complete remake? Like, I have a lot of questions. Because Jakar also, his actor passed away. Um, what was that? I think it was lung cancer or something. I know he smoked pretty heavily. These guys are going to get their high-speed training soon. Gives them extra turn rate and acceleration. I think it makes them harder to hit. Boom, 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 boom. And then we'll be able to claim this sector, Starfleet. And then maybe bounce over to here. Um, ooh, they've got Aceton Assimilators over there. Might need a little bit more firepower with those Mirandas all built up. What are you guys doing? Oh, I know what you're doing. You're trying. Get over here. You're trying to form up right where they decided to build the space station, which I can actually upgrade with, like, phaser banks and stuff, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you a... Uh... Can I get you a uh... minor repair dock? Yes, let's grab that, too. Since we don't have the repair technology. Yeah, this is the cool thing about building the space stations is that you can turn them into just monsters for defense. If you've got a good choke point. Who is that? Terran Empire has a planet! What? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh man, I must be a couple of versions behind. How we do it on the fight? How's the fleet holding up? Alright, I will send you reinforcements right now. So if you scroll out and you click this little bar right here, this is the military bar. All five Mirandas have just been ordered to leave Trill Space and go assist the fleet. I love the Miranda. So good looking. And I bet the torpedoes come right out of here because the guys who made this mod, like, imagine this. All the models, all the effects, these guys made all of this and their free time so that we can enjoy it. Right, there's no, like, they got nothing out of it except for making something cool for the community to play. How awesome is that? I've been playing this for years. It's still the, one of the best Star Trek strategy games. Since we haven't gotten to Star Trek Armada 3 officially. Swimming Onion, thanks for the $5 donation. The Miranda's the best ship in Star Trek history. Ah, I love the shuttle bays. I did a modded playthrough, my very first Let's Play of uh, X3, and I had a Baranda, and you can actually use the shuttle bay as it launch um, various shuttles out of it. We already won! Oh, nicely shift done, Fleet. Full readiness. Control Shift Z, turn the UI back on. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys into a full group on your own. To full. And let's get the ambassador, the actual extra parts. All Sadly, you can ready. only name the capital ships. Or I would totally put you guys in here. Let's colonize this rock. Unity Station has not special abilities. What does that mean, Draconian Gaming? Uh, 
colonization was successful. Don't follow. Uh, let's do logistical development first and then civilian infrastructure so we can get more population on there. And let's build up the mines. And if we do trading routes... So if you take your mouse and you put it over your credits, you can actually see where your trade routes. And you want to make a long as you can connection points uh, from your start point. So right now we've got that. We could go to here if I put a trade station here, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, and then the other thing we're going to do is put a military research facility, an Ares type, on this planet as well. Um... With the amount of credits I've got, I think I'll hold back we'll on any other ahead. research for this area. But what I will do is pick up some more. I'm going to click every wrong button. I'm going to... Oh, I can get Janeway. Janeway, which is a hero, right? We've got various heroes. We can get Cisco and the Defiant. We can get the USS Enterprise E refit, aka Sovereign. Um, Station. Or I can start on the Galaxy class. What do you guys think? Galaxy or you guys want to see Voyager? Voyager gets the um, the armor ability, and I think the galaxy actually has saucer separation. If not, you have to get the venture refit. I've been playing Stowe at the moment and just passed a Miranda called the leftover parts. <laughs> yes! That makes me happy. That makes me unruly. Unruly happy. I'm like just over the moon. I mean, I do love me a galaxy class. Hey, Nebula. Thank you for the $5 donation. Just dropped one. Says, funny thing, the Miranda may look smaller than the Connie, but it has more interior volume. Random fact of the day. Here is your Latinum. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, complete. A lot of love for the galaxy class. A little bit for the Voyager. I'm going to go galaxy. We'll get them both eventually, but let's go with galaxy first. Because the other thing we're going to have to research, I think, is fleet cap. Oh, here's the defense. Where'd where it go? Shit. Uh, here's the defense research. Outpost construction. I can already get outposts? Nice. Research complete. And torpedo turrets and phaser turrets and defense station. Defense station. Outposts are the big one. Defense stations, I think, are the smaller. I think. What? Third fleet reserves! That must be an ability research. We're calling it backup. All right, so we need to get a larger fleet size, meaning we're going to have to go to Starfleet Academy and increase our logistical and our fleet cap. So let's go Lieutenant Commander so we can get one more capital ship and logistical. This is going to eat into some of our credit income, so we're just going to have to live with that. All right, fleet. Are you ready to go? What the hell? Be ready for anything. What's going on here, guys? <gasps> oh, this is that weird... All right, we got to get the fleet over there. This is that weird... Um, this is like a mechanic they added a while... Oh, you guys are so screwed without backup. Where you get, like, escorts. Or not escorts, patrols that you have no control over in your areas of space, I think. This was a mechanic that was added. Whoa, look at that. Asnok warship. Asnok. Are these the guys with the radiation field? There's also an Excelsior in here. I didn't build these, by the way. We got these for free, I think. You should name this thing the Yamato. The galaxy class? We could do that. It didn't it didn't end well for them though. Station complete. I love how many of you are jumping in being like, you're not playing Klingon? Who are you and what have you done with Shaq? Oh, we gotta see this from the Miranda's perspective. Look at the fleet. Bum 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 bum. Hey, station keeping, buddy. Let's get some uh let's get some distance. This is how accidents happen. All right, we're going to follow these guys because those guys are screwed. Ah! Shit! Trying to get the camera right. Oh, we're about to get nailed on our port! Ship at full readiness. Pull off! Let's engage the ship closest to us so we can start phasing without getting nailed. Oh god, how much damage is that doing? Oh, it's disabling him and his shields are down. We might not have the firepower for these guys. These are big ships. 6,000 shields! Everything you've got! I've got some time so I can get you back up. I'm at my fleet cap. And I don't have the... What do you guys do? Target the weapons array. Well, fuck me. Yeah, target the weapons array. Shut down his weapon systems. Nuke him. Oh, I just used all of you, didn't I? No, I didn't. Target his weapons array. I don't know why you guys aren't doing this automatically. 
keep those weapon systems offline. How is the extra parts doing? Her shields have failed. Captain, I'm turning the fleet off of uh, Move Together so that I can pull them back as I need to. It's still got a little hull, and it's not being... Oh, it is primaried. Okay. I'm pulling back the extra parts. Get out of there. Hey, J Bravo. What I miss? Uh, I've engaged a fight with ships that are far larger than us. Like, multiple times our size. Well, at least one of them's being distracted. Not only distracted, they've managed to take that thing's shields down by half. They're about to lose an Excelsior over there, though. Oh, our shield's doing. Damn, we're just not doing enough shield damage. Extra parts, you have orders. Get it. Oh, it keeps disabling him. Oh, no. Please don't die. You got to get out of there, extra parts. Ah! Somebody shut his weapon systems off. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. We'll get the shields back and then we'll re-engage while the rest of the fleet keeps this up. Check, have you heard if someone is working on a mod with sins to include all the franchises? I have not. It's happened before with you know you mean one of the big big mix mods where you can have like Star Trek ships beating up on on Star Wars ships, etc. I've never found it very good when they do it. Because they don't really work that well. Can I order you guys to do stuff? We're being pirated right now. Trill's being bombarded. What the hell? I need to make more ships. I'm going to use up... Oh, we got the research done. We can make a new capital ship. Galaxy class is under construction. Yeah, we got pirates. I think we need to pull the fleet back. We await your command. I mean, those three ships are actually getting work done. They've almost got his shield down. You guys are taking a hell of a lot longer. Where's the extra parts? What the hell happened to Kern? All crew stand ready. I'm ordering you back to the repair bay. This should have the repair ability. And then you two dispatched immediately to the front line as we build them. I want this world which we can't re- Oh, we can't even colonize this world. We can't colonize this one either, but it's a lot closer. All right. We're pulling the fleet back. All of you stay there. Continue to fight that one pirate ship that's giving us trouble that showed up. Including you, Saber. Like, get over there. The Mirandas are doing what they can. Yeah, he's gonna die. We're pulling back. We're going to do some repairs, and then we're going to engage this world, because this only needs Tier 1. This requires Tier 4. Give the word. Damn. All right, all right, all right. That means we got to do some more research. We need to do... We can't! We don't have the Jupiter stations for it. No! Please tell me I can put a Jupiter station on this planet. I can't. What about... Nope. What about... Probably not, because I think I filled it already. I'm going to have to go. Oh, I can't. I can't. Jupiter Station, go. Yay. We can actually colonize a planet now. Yay. Tier 1 colonization. Unity and diversity. Increase max pop by 8%. Nice. Hey, Fisher. Thank you so much for the resub. Huh. This is a chat option now, I guess. Come on, Defiant. I'm looking forward to seeing a tough little ship. Yeah, man. All right, so we managed to pull out of there. Sadly, I think these patrols that we get for free aren't going to make it. Not to mention they're just sitting there disabled. Oh! Listen, I didn't tell them to go there. They did that on their own. All right? That wasn't me. What the hell is this? All ships engage. Our capital ship has actually managed to level up. I'm gonna go with the long range scan so we can do some spying, some data collecting. All crew stand ready. And then we're gonna grab, once crew the whole fleet is here, it's almost here, we'll get them as one big fleet and then we'll go take this over. We should make a Star Wars mod for Combat Mission Shock Force 2. Combat Mission Shock Force 2. I don't know command. what that is. Here's the fleet, by the way. Bow, 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 bow. With their weapon. Enhancements. The Mirandas. Station. How are we doing on that research? Cued, but not finished. 
Let's get some armor research done. Let's get the curry class. No, the centaur. That's our anti shuttle, anti fighter ship. Entering the fleet, dependable Norway destroyer, modern starship that sees uh, peacetime as scientific or diplomatic. Uh, however, in times of war, the Norway's strong armament makes it ideal platform during sieges. Yeah, it's for planet bombardment. Steam runners! Modern starship, the role. The steam runner class vessels were used in a specialized scientific role during peacetime, however, as part of the Starfleet's new militaristic um, paradigm. Steam runners are equipped to defend themselves with a pair of tri cobalt torpedo launchers. <gasps> yes, please. And let's do some torpedo upgrades while we're line. while we're working on that. Excellent. All right, the fleet is here. Crew standing by. Sort of. What are you guys? Springfield destroyer. You guys are part of that patrol thing, right? And I have no control over you. Unable to okay. Comply. No. I think that came in the rebellion Helm, update, to be honest. So let's go take this. All of you move together. Group one engaged. There goes another set of ships to go run over and punch the, um, the locals over there. <gasps> Ooh, there's an upgrade to a ship that I don't think has gotten any experience. There it is. All right, we're going to rename her. The USS Yamato. Complete. Is online and the ability we're gonna give it. Hey, there's sensor separate, 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 blah, 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 separation. I'm gonna give it photon torpedo volley because I think that'd be more useful. All crew stand ready. You guys have your orders to move as a fleet to Tem Tequilia. We're gonna rename that. I still haven't seen the Cardis, like actual. Oh no, never mind. Yes, I have. The Cardassian fleet has arrived. Cardassian pirates, by the way. Confederation ships are here. This is their same version of like patrol ships or something. Sub factions, basically, like a task force. Adjusting coordinates. Yeah, there's no taking that yet. I can't colonize this though if I want to engage it. I do as soon as the fleet wraps up its job. Command. Why didn't you guys jump together? Look at the galaxy over there. <laughs> Time to claim this for the Federation. Open Halion Frequencies, AKA Phaser Banks. Because it sends and that's what you do. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot. Their ability is to disable ships because they've got this. They've got the assimilators, the um, Aceton like. Okay, all ships engage this. Kill the... It's a trap. Kill the thing that's irradiating you all. Thanks. Nice. Now let's switch to targets and kill the other one. I love that they've mixed. There's another one in here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, right there. Kill that. They've mixed storylines from Next Generation in here in Deep Space Nine to make these little events work. That's from the one where, like, Picard slingshots the Enterprise around an asteroid. If anybody remembers that? The extra parts is in this and you're not voicing it? What is this heresy? I named it. I don't think I had voiced anything in this mod. I used to voice the intro for it ages ago. Me and Tabby. Hmm. That was back when I had a different animated intro. Look at the galaxy class. Are you using your ability? No. Use your full torpedo spread awesomeness. I want to see those torpedoes. There they are. I don't even have that ability in stow yet. Guys, how is the volume right now? Get to colonizing. Colonization was successful. We await your There we go. It's like a blown up moon. I'm just going to do full research. Um, is it worth putting a trade station here? Is Earth under attack again? Or Trill, I mean. Are you under attack? 
All right, planetary defense needs to be researched because I'm worried we're gonna start getting attacked. Let's get a phaser banks. Let's get phaser banks online. Phaser turrets, torpedoes, and let's get the broadcasts as well. So these little satellite subspace relay networks. Audio is perfect. Cool, thanks guys. Uh, you sure you're not Terran Empire? Pretty sure. Industrial consortium. Hmm. Increased dilithium mining. Yes. Let me guess. Repair base? Yeah. And while that research is going on, I'm going to increase your tactical deployment. Aha! That's what's attacking us. And we're going to put some turrets on this on this place. Because we're going to have to, like, dispatch some ships over here. Do we have any anybody on standby? What would it take to get... Seriously? You pain in the ass. Can I give you a, like, that's what we're going to do. We're going to give this like a shuttle bay. Squadron flight deck. That's what we need. We're going to get a squadron flight deck for the space station so that the squadrons can harass these ships that keep kind of sneaking in. And then as soon as the research is done on the phaser banks, they keep attacking us from right here. So what I'm going to do is phaser bank, phaser bank, phaser bank. Torpedo, torpedo. Enemy engaged. And you... Phaser bank, phaser bank, phaser bank. You're never going to be able to build them in time, are you? Oh god, they're actually going to kill this. All ships make best speed to that planet because we're about to lose it. <laughs> Watch how fast the escorts can jump to warp. We're going to lose a world. Shit. Go, 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 go. And, like, escorts are immediate. Yep. And Miranda's aren't that slow either. So they'll make best speed. We're going to actually lose it. Yeah, we're going to lose it. We'll be able to recolonize it, but it's a bit of a pain. Oh, no, they switched targets to the phaser turrets. Good. That'll give us a little bit of a break. Get a ch leave a chance to arrive. Station complete. Station complete. Gotcha, Samuel. Interesting. Um, what's our next one? We haven't gotten Janeway's research, so let's do that. And then let's pick up. Pop him cap would actually give us extra credits. Diplomatic overtures. I'll take it. Because we do have other factions that we might want to make an alliance with. I'd love to align with the Klingons, you know? Sure. Productive negotiations. These are relatively cheap. I'm going to pick them up. And let's get the diplomatic envoy ship so we can start making friends. We, I think we're going to try it. I think we're going to try to make friends with somebody. All right, hurry up. We got to get there quick. The distress call isn't going to last forever. We haven't lost the system yet. And they should be set to attack all hostiles right away. There's the fleet. It's going to be a while till we can get Cisco. He's like way up the tree because you get the Defiant. Defiant is like a three-fourths of the way through the entire tech tree. Research. Get him, Galaxy Class. You're using your ability, right? Ah, oh, no. Open up on him. Give him all the torps. Oh, level up. Yeah, for the extra parts. Sweet. Let's pick up um, target impulse coils. No, let's do antimatter shunt. So we can use more of our abilities. It's only got 160 health left. No. This needs way more torpedo launchers and phasers surrounding it. Screw you guys! I'm weaponizing this sector. And you need research to make you harder to bomb. Where is that? Strategic fortifications and do your planetary exploration. There's an off chance that there may be... Oh, God, look at its health bar. You can't even see it. It's got 60 health left. <laughs> You're the team behind this out of the Romulan Republic. Did they? Really? From uh, Star Trek Online, huh? So it's like a, what is it, like a research tree? 
Kind of like the Cardis. That's actually pretty cool. So you get a research. Now that we've got a new piece of territory. <gasps> No, 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 no. Where did you come from? Don't want. Go away. Oh, it's even worse because you came from... Ooh, no. I bet you came from here, didn't you? Complete. Stupid Borg. Get him, fleet. Oh, the noise their ships make, too. All right, we got to take some territory. Don't follow that ship around. Um... No, this is not the right place. Bring engines to full. We need to go. You're tier four, research. You're tier one. Go here. And all of you go together. We can take this gas giant. Tons of territory. Um, you guys, pick up your runabouts. This is our space, uh, space station. Let them do a mix. Station. I want to just nope right out. Thank you. Already picking up the... We have uncovered a crystalline... Wait. Discovered crystallized impacts on a planet? Uh, did we find something? Hang on, we're gonna pause. Did we find something? Crystal, what, what did it say? Let's see. We have discovered a crystallized impacts our planet Calstron. Like crystalline entity? No, that was the research that we did. Maybe it's a bonus. Oh yeah, it's trade income plus 10% titanium extracts. 50. Oh yeah, cool. So we we scanned this. We did some exploration, basically paid for it. Um, and it found something cool. We're getting 30% from our dilithium mines now. That's awesome. I'm going to start pausing it more because we've got a lot going on. Oh. What did we just do? We got hostiles again in sector. We've got runabouts now fighters I'm, I'm concerned I'm very concerned All crew stand ready. extra parts you've got a sweet ability called long range scan I want you to pop that on this world all right that Borg scout is making his way through the sector but he's not actually engaged anything so what do you got diplomacy report Pirates are massing a raid. The House of Katag. Station complete. Into the House of Katag territory. Good. Go after the Klingons. They like a good fight. I'll be back here. Ah ha 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 ha. We've got uh, merchant, hostile merchant ships trying to pass through the area. Except for I've built up a crap ton of torpedoes here. <laughs> so if they try anything, they're just going to get blowed up. Research complete. Station construction. So, how do we get... How do we get the heroes? I think it's a specialized building. I'm gonna pause again. You are rich. Do some research and building. Yeah, let's get let's get Voyager off the dock. Um, I could have sworn it was a special building. Yeah, Starfleet HQ. Here it is. And it's set to auto-build, so Voyager will come out as soon as we have the available ship slots. We don't have the capital ship slots to get Voyager. Oh! We found something! We found an Iconian Matrix! What does it do? Antimatter regeneration 15% across basically the fleet. And we picked up... Nice! That's cool. That'll be useful. That's just a fleet bonus because we explored some and got lucky. Um, we need to do a fleet research. We need to increase the fleet cap, which is what we're going to do. So we'll get Voyager out, and then we'll use the rest of the fleet cap to build up into more, more ships. I noticed alert box isn't alerting and or boxing. Let me fix it. I love this mod. It's been too long. Let me see if that fixes it. Doesn't seem to fix it. I think. Hmm. I don't know. I think um, Green Labs is broken today or something. Weird. Now it's working. There it goes. Now we got it. 
Uh, hey, Guardsman, thank you so much for the $5. I got another phone call. Did I get assimilated yet? Oh, dude, we saw a Klingon uh, or a Borg. Unpause. A Borg uh, scout. We saw a scout pass by, so definitely not alone. How goes the battle? All crew stand ready. The fleet is getting Lock too phases. spread out. But we can call this gas giant ours if we can just clear out these foods. Standing Looks like the galaxy class has another ability. We're going to take saucer separation, and as soon as I focus on this ship, we're going to use it. Begin saucer separation. How cool is that? And now those are two separate ships that can engage. And if I think the saucer runs out of money, or runs out of health, excuse me, um, it will, because it's running on, it's really running on Dilithium credits. It will just form back up. I don't think it actually explodes. Oh, it's got its own abilities too, like phaser overload. Everything but reintegration, we're not gonna use that. What? You get evasive maneuvers, brace shielding, heavy torpedo salvo, which I'm totally gonna use thing is cheats target the imports no actually we'll go with a better colony because then we'll get multiple free mines early all right good job fleet go ahead what's on your mind hey there she is captain Catherine Jane Ray of the USS Voyager who's immediately getting a blade of generators I'm gonna use it so you guys can see what it looks like Right? Doesn't last long, but she's invulnerable when this happens. Very cool. You're going to be group one. I'm sending you to rendezvous with the fleet. Let's keep you guys together. Yeah, let's get you over here. Do you think they animate the warp cells? Last time I played Sins, my friend booted me out of his galaxy. Then I got raffle stomped by a nomad AI who decided to appear. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of crazy events. Status. It even has the. Stand by. Go ahead. What's on your mind? Yes. Go ahead. What's on your mind? Yeah, you've even got the the audio dialogue. It's pretty great. How's our trade going? Take us out of here. Warp nine. Yeah, it's getting there. Have we won All the battle? Ready. Not yet. But I think we're at a point where I can just go ahead and Tell colonize the planet. So if we zoom in here, let me turn on the volume. Love having volume control right next to me on a slider. It used to be so hard to stream this back in the day because you zoom in and it gets crazy loud. You zoom out, you can't hear anything. It's just a sense thing. So we should be able to see the shuttlecraft, I think. There they go. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, you just make them out. And that should give us control of the planet. Colonization was successful. Oh, you turn it back up. Ah, oh, Nebula, thank you for the five. Back to the day number two. The Galaxy class saucer separation has a hidden torpedo tube in the separation plan. Only usable once separated. You mean in the neck? Interesting. The more you know. All right, so let's do a trade route here. Let's do a subspace relay here. And then let's do logistical research. Unable to comply. And let's do tactical research. And then Unable civilian infrastructure. We're just gonna dump a bunch of resources into this. And then we're gonna do, Man, I don't know. Maybe phasers here, like to defend these stations. If they bomb the planet, it'll suck. But because I think they'll actually go around them, and the planet's too big to actually hold through. Yeah, they bombed it! Damn it! Damn it! They bombed it because they had a convoy ship back there. Ah, oh, we have to wait, and now we have to wait for that ability to recharge. Balls! I thought we could grab it. We need to do some more, some more exploration, planetary exploration. 
on all of these worlds. How's your development doing? Planetary exploration. Squadron reporting, Captain. You guys are fighter squadrons, so I'm not worried about you. Squadron Actually, I am gonna dispatch you. Are these hostile or just traitors? Oh, these are civilian traitors going through. Weird. Cool though. The saucer section, it's not engineering hall, so not the neck. Could say, oh, the saucer section All has the torpedo ready. bay. I get what you're saying now. All right. Unable to comply. Planetary exploration. Comply. Have I done your strategic Unable and tactical? Do full research on it. So we can go phaser, 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 phaser. Is the stream out? Sorry, guys. Weird is because we're not dropping frames, so I wonder if it's on the YouTube's end today. All crew stand ready. <sighs> we're just building this up. So that should, I just put down a tactical station. That should give us access to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get Intrepid's now. We can get the Venture Refit. Uh, what I really want, we'll get a Constellation. This is a repair ship, by the way, for the Federation. Um, I really want the Excelsior because it's going to be the workhorse of the fleet. But we need one more military research station. Standing by. Gotcha, Jay Bravo. Well, thanks for the heads up, man. That's going to take some build up. Did I get the mines put down? Yeah. I can get another research, research station here. Complete. And another trading post. Do the trading post. Are we totally tapped on... Yeah, we are. What the hell's going on here? Not hostile. Okay. Whoa! We got Borg problems. It's just a scout. Okay, we're good. Just a scout. So this does need tactical development. And we should probably put down some defenses over here. Uh, I'm going to put a subspace relay here for funds. And I'm going to put a... Defense stations, torpedo, deport, torpedo, torpedo, phaser, 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 torpedo. Station complete. Nice. Nice. Did I explore you yet? Yes. Unable to comply. Might as well. Got some good money coming in. We await your command. So lots building up. That's locked down. We should have the research for proper Station ships now. Complete. No? Oh, we're broke. We blew all our cash. Hmm. All right, we'll wait. Check. Will this stream be up on YouTube after? It will be. Yeah. If I stream onto YouTube, I let the VOD be a thing. Um, and then I only bring some things Station over from Twitch. Complete. You know, Empire War series, things like that. Squadron reporting, Captain. All crews stand ready. I'm waiting to get this research done so we can pick up some Excelsiors and use up the rest of our fleet cap. So the challenge, and I, what I like about the balance with synths, I always thought this was clever, was that you can make massive fleets, but every time you up your fleet cap, you lower the amount of money you're coming in complete. by a certain percentage. So Dilithia minus 28% when I get to this point. All the way up to negative, you know, um, 38% at top. I'm going to go ahead and do these research, though. We're going to bump up one more so we can get more capital ships. Station Which mod do you prefer, complete. this or Sins of the Prophets? Um, standing by. I prefer this, but it has nothing to do with the Adjusting mod itself. I'm All more a Star Trek fan than I am a Halo fan. I enjoyed Halo. Station I really complete. enjoyed the first three games. I enjoyed... Um, the one where you're an ODST trooper. But after I played the first three, the game, the story was over. Like, that was it for me. I haven't gone back and played any of the other. We await um, your command. Any of the other. I did play Who's Reach, actually. By? I think Reach was the last game I played. Man, I don't think we can take those. Station. We can take complete. this, though. All right, we'll have the whole fleet rendezvous at the space Yo, station for repairs. Bring engines to full. And then we'll head on to this world up here and take it. Yeah. While we Adjusting continue our research. Hey, 
We almost got the constellation. Research complete. So if I, that's the only thing. That mod is really cool, and it plays totally different than any other Sins mod. Because when you're playing as the humans, the UNSC. Uh, let's go ahead and get two constellations so Station we can do repairs complete. out in the field. And let's get an envoy because I want to play around with envoys. Um, Research. If you're playing as the humans, you get the mat cannons. So the humans are like really front heavy, Station high damage, complete. but really low health compared to the uh, the shielded Changing heading. Uh, covenant ships. I find that really interesting from a gameplay perspective. And you can have the flood, which are nuts. Look at our space stations going down. Station complete. Military research station. Status report. Order some steam runners. Oh, did we not buy steam runners for the fleet? Um, steam runners would be there. There. Oh, we didn't. These are artillery ships. Yeah, let's get like three steam runners, and a uh, a centaur as well because we don't have any anti fighter. Let's get two centaurs. You know what's crazy? We still haven't seen how big is this map. We have not seen uh, the Klingons, the Romulans, Status report. yet. We saw a Borg. That's true, Jackal. That's true. I did play Halo Wars. I didn't really think that that is a uh, traditional Halo game, but you're not wrong. Crew standing by. All right, the fleet is here. It is Adjusting uncomfortably close to the space station. Uh, we did have a repair dock, so I imagine it's repairing. All crew I'll, stand ready. If you hold alt, you can see everybody's health. It's the fleet right now. We'll wait until the rest of the fleet arrives. Uh, AK, wait till they're being built. Standby. Like you guys. Ah, oh, look at them. Ready. With their maintenance drones. I wanted one of this is in uh, Star Trek Online, but you have to pay for real money for it. Research. It's bullshit. So I didn't. <laughs> Stargazer, man. All sections Where are you guys going? By. Oh. What the hell? We got pirates. It's a good thing the fleet was here. It's just one, though. Yeah, it's just one. Say, I'm a... Station Did he cloak? Prepare the he cloaked. Base. We can't Who's engage. He's cloaked. Gone. Helm, bring us about. Cheats. <laughs> standing by. All right, make you all group one. Move together. Yeah, he's I'll cloaked. Get your tacky on beams out. Let's make a net. Ah, he's Who's not cloaked now. Open fire. Welcome to Trill. Thanks, Voyager. Swinging in. Oh, my boy, just getting primary. Look at that. How many galaxies does this map have? It's got one star. Is that what you're asking? I think it's got one star. Our scouts didn't make it that far, so... We only know a little bit about the map. Oh, yeah, we're just tearing it apart. And... A little experience for the cap ships. I don't think it'll be enough to oh, level anybody up. The reactor is going critical. Nice. We All right, fleet. We're leaving. Time to go claim another planet for us. Let's go make... Unimatrix67 has a mission for you. What do they want me to do? Oh, they hate me. Klingons don't mind me. The Order doesn't mind me. The Borg absolutely hate us. I like that they start off. Mission, destroy ships. Piss off. Piss off, Borg. So I can make friends. Actually, they, they are starting to like us even more. We're at 1.5. Okay, it's a very poor relationship, but it is a relationship nonetheless. Enemy engaged. Being only slightly despised by the Klingons is basically friendship. That pirate is a Kessick heavy cruiser from Bridge Commander. They have torpedoes that hurt. Battle stations. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them um, uh, located in this sector or this sector. 
Yeah, this sector, because this is the same thing, isn't it? No, these are the big ass. Hazmats. Which I think is a model they used for a couple of different species in next generation. <laughs> Standing by. Hey, let's focus fire, guys. Power to weapons. Yeah, let's keep the escorts and everybody like grouped together. The Raiders are preparing to launch an attack. So that's a double-edged sword. You can pay pirates to go attack people, right? It looks like they're going after the, the Orions are gonna go after the Borg. Somebody has bribed the pirates to go fight the Borg, which is hilarious. And this is a double-edged sword. You can do this and it can cause trouble for that enemy. Or you're feeding ships to the Borg and you're feeding experience to their capital ships. So by the time you go over there and fight them, you find out, oh, they've been grinding XP on, um, I just wanted to see what this was. Look at that weird ship. Kind of like a baby nebula with a backpack. That's what I'm going with. Uh, yeah. Sad that Halo Wars 3 had space combat concept art. Having official Halo game with space combat has been a dream of mine for years. Yeah, that would have been cool. I think with that original, like, three movies timeline, there's a lot to mine there for fun gameplay. Especially like a 4X game. It'd be pretty epic. Wow, his speed is destroyed. He's just, just getting beat up. Almost feel bad for him. Hey, we've got a level up. You can get a tachyon beam or an antimatter spread. Hell yeah. I want to see the antimatter spread. Where's that galaxy class? Hey, use your anti, no, 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 wrong button, shit. Well, I guess we're saucer separating. <laughs> Might have pushed the wrong button. Now I don't have. Heavy Torpedo Salvo, let's do that. Thump, 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 thump. Just random galaxy class disc in there. It would be ours momentarily. How many more ships do they have? So if you zoom out into this like tactical mode, you can put your mouse over it and you can see how battles are going. On the left side will be your ships. You can see their, their health percentages. So my ambassador has 83% hull and 96% shields. It's been a little beat up. The extra parts is going to be needing some namesake. Uh, where you can see their shields starting to drop. So if you want like an overview of battles or if you've got multiple fleet fights going on, it gets pretty crazy. That's how you can take a look. All sections on standby. These are interesting because they're not actually my ships. I didn't build these. These come with... Um, I want to see the Rebellion expansion added that mechanic. Hey guys, keep fighting. We're not colonizing until every enemy ship has been removed from this region. Give the word. That is an enemy like convoy. Enemy reinforcements are very slowly approaching. Let's kill all their ships before they get here. It's a pretty cool mod. This mod is amazing. Like, there's no reason not to play this mod if you don't, if you already have sins. Okay, we got a lot of research to do. I need to start using this money. Uh, we can do the galaxy refit. Totally worth it. Should, ooh. It's not even a question. Yes, defiant, go. And that'll pop out right away. We'll get Cisco immediately. Nice. Well, I need to take a quick bio break before we continue this. So let's zoom in on the current flagship of the fleet, the Yamato. It was saucer separating, uh, returning to normal. There he is. And I can't use, oh, I can't use antimatter spray. You're just not close enough. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause it. That's the screenshot button again. Actually, let's wait till he fires. And get a full, full spread in. I can give you an upgrade. Tachyon beam. You should kill shields, right? Yeah. If we ever get into firing range. I don't know what the firing range is on this. If I hold alt, I can see it. All right, use your ability. Whoa. Oh, that's the thing for the board fight. Nice. Go ahead and use the tachyon beam on that target. I want to see it. And pause. 
those two abilities are both from their fight against the Borg, isn't it? From that two-parter. <gasps> All right. How do you go about modding synths? Super easy. Download the mod, drop it into the mod folder. All this will be on the mod page. It gets extracted into the folder that they tell you to. Go into the game and launch it. You probably don't even have to do that. It most likely will just launch automatically because there's a text file with the mod that tells it what to launch when you first launch the game. You need, um, for this version, you need Star Trek, uh, excuse me, you need Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. I don't know if you can, I think you can get it on, on um, Stardock and GOG. I have the Steam version though. I'll be right back. Let's go to the Be Right Back screen. Look at that shot though. Hang on, let me take a screenshot of this. That's totally going to be our next thumbnail, by the way. I'm going to put it in the, uh, I'm going to put it in the Discord and Shack chat so I have access to it later. Uh, 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 and then I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be back to fighting the Cardis and the rest of the hostile Alpha Quadrant races. I want a piece of this. Right back! Oh no, okay, can you guys hear me? It looks like my connection seems to be fine, um, but my connection to the server with YouTube seems to be a problem today. That was just a full on like lost connection because I could still see chat just fine. Weird, I don't know what that is. Okay, I wonder how that'll affect the VOD once it comes up. We hear you now. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I don't know what that was, guys. I mean, it's good that it happened on the break, but um, I've never even... Like, normally, I know what a bad internet connection looks like. We've seen it many times. Uh, oh, man, look at that. Different abilities firing off. The Steam Runner's got... Let me see what the Steam Runner's ability actually is. Let me turn on the UI. What are you doing right now? Proximity Torpedoes. Torpedoes are given an area of effect and longer range at the expense of the Steam Runner's engine power. A series of high-yield proximity torpedoes are fired from the Steam Runner's weapon pod, causing large area of effect damage drawn detonation. Whoa! And that'll disable their impulse engines, basically stopping them dead in their tracks. That's cool. There's so much to these. Like, every one of these ships has, like, a cool ability, like, targeting weapons array. If you really want to micro the fight, you can do that. First Instagram, Facebook, now YouTube. What's next? Uh, Twitch. Did you hear what happened with Twitch and the J Bravo and the gigantic leak? They lost like their entire source code. All right, let's go ahead and pause. I want to win this fight. We need to start securing the area of space around Trill. Standing by. And the other thing that I wanted to find, where is our... Okay, you guys need to join the fleet. Engines. We've got the new colony up. What happened to our... Standing by. There's our envoy. Establish embassy. I want to do this, but we have to find the, the species to do this with. Gaming Dave! Gaming with Dave, thank you for the $10 donation. I appreciate that. I haven't been watching you for so long, but this is the first... I've been watching you for so long, but this is the first... 
stream I actually made it to, and it's not on Twitch. I love STA3. I'm downloading the new version right now. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. Well, hey, man, I hope you enjoy it. It's a ton of fun. Steady as she goes. It's the most modern, like, strategy experience, real-time strategy experience that you're going to get. And I mean that um, even compared to something like Sins. I love the Sins mod, uh, but this does give you full control over your fleet, which Sins, by its very nature, does not. Um, what did we need? We were going to get the Defiant. Let's go for better power cells for the Phaser Banks. And let's upgrade those torpedoes to Mark 9s. And I would love to upgrade the shields because we're Starfleet. Damn it. If anything, we've got dim shields. And I want to get a subspace relay. Research complete. And it starts spreading that culture. See the blue lines? That's our culture. Armed and ready. It's bubbly and cloy. Acknowledge Starfleet. Alter and if course. you don't know what that's a reference to, uh, go watch Deep Space Nine and you'll love it and thank me later. Ooh, did I do exploration on you? I normally don't find anything, so I normally don't bother, but man, I'm all about it today. Hey, Shaq, what about a community event of this? What's the player cap for Sins? It's like nine, isn't it? The, the problem that we've had in the past is people's connections constantly freezing up the game over and over again, and it makes it like a, just a gigantic slog to play yes. multiplayer with a large number of people. Because you're just waiting, it's connecting, it's waiting, it's connecting. All right, you guys are the new fleet. Let's form up. Fleet's getting bigger and bigger. We're not going to build any ships because we're waiting on the Defiant to come out. Yeah, 10 to 12 players. So we could do a big player number. But it might be really painful to watch. And to play. This is the Federation flagship dreadnought. <sighs> Got a ways to go on that. We need seven Ares stations to build that. Oh, oh, but we can get the Excelsior. Done and done. And the New Orleans class. Yeah. Okay, we got a lot of research to let happen. I guess we went full. What's on your mind? Full fighting power and not like. Look at the fleet. Everybody's getting that reactor buff from. From the extra parts. That's what that symbol is from. It's the rea It's the antimatter shunt ability. So if you hold Alt, Research you can see complete. the stats on the ships. Basically, you can see what their firing range is. And you can see which ones are flagships and what rank they are, like this way. Station complete. I like that. I like that a lot. Acknowledge Starfleet. Mm, all right. Are the repair ships set to auto repair? How are you guys looking? And everybody's health is on the green. I think the fleet's ready to move then. Let's go poke this planet. Take us in. We'll see it from the Stargazer's perspective. If you hit this button before hitting Shift Z, you can get a fully UI off perspective of your fleet. Uh, oh, I missed that donation. Ah! No, my fleet! Yes. How's the rusty dream running? The old girl's still running okay? The old ranger? Oh, my ranger? Station yeah, she's running great. Complete. She is picking up a lot of rust, though. In the undercarriage. Poor ranger. And that thing for ages. Okay, here we go. Legit can't see where the enemy is. It's a VY off. All right, we should be able to win this pretty handily. The galaxy class is making a beeline for it. So the UI back on fully. The shields are already down. Hall is starting to breach. She's done. Dunzo. Cool. Is there anything? Can we, like, make the Maquis an ally, or do I have to conquer this planet? Anybody know? Mm -mm. We can't survive a Borg cube yet. I don't think Research we have the firepower complete. for it. Unless we had, like, a, spa a fully upgraded space station backing us up. 
I think we could give one a run for its money if we can get to cruisers and really flesh out the number of cruisers we've got. But right now, our cruiser fleet is... I mean, it's looking better. We've got Interceptor Destroyer Corvette Short Range Targeting. New Orleans Class Extreme Range. Good against Stations Siege Cruiser. Hmm. Let's get some Excelsiors. Extra health. I want like, I want like five Excelsiors. Oh, is the Defiant done? Squadron reporting, Captain. Why is it not here? Tell me I didn't just blow through all of my fleet cap without getting the Defiant out first. He should be here. What's your deal? Not enough resources. 7,000? Oh, yeah, no, I just blew all my money. All right, let's cancel all those ships. And we're going to hold tight until we get... Nope, all those ships. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Until we get 7,000 and get the Defiant. As you're getting towards the end of your life, what's the plan? Are you going to scrap for a Derbier? Oh, I'm not going to do... I I'm going to keep it as long as I can. I think I can still get another five years out of that Ranger, at least. Five or ten. Who knows, man? Take us to warp. There he is. Cisco has arrived. Yes. I think that he just warps into the sector. Cisco here. I'm Captain Benjamin Cisco of the USS Defiant. Yes. Guys did such a great job at this pocket battleship ability. Grants increased angular and linear speed as well as a chance to evade incoming fire. There are further improvements to weapons. The Defiant include rate of fire and ability to hit evasive targets. With O'Brien handiwork, the US Defiant is faster, more maneuverable, and more deadly than even ships of the same formidable class. Research complete. Forced evacuation of a planet? What? I know what episode that's from. Let's go ahead and do the research. Platinum. We're gonna get we're gonna get pocket battleship. That ate a lot of money for us. Benjamin Cisco of the USS Defiant. Benjamin Cisco of the USS Defiant. Let's get you dispatched. Increase power to engines. To the front line. Incident. Look at that Incident. ship, man. Don't forget to capture the minor factions. Uh, and get the Federation economy research. It's OP. We're working on it. Can I make... I want to make... I guess I can't. Heavy torpedo salvo? Why is this under orbital command? Give me all the power oh, it's the Ares safe. Warp. Take us to warp. Wow, I need to do a lot more research. Let's increase populations. Manifest destiny. And we're broke. Platinum. But it's research to make more money, so... How are we doing against those last ships? Task force is getting it done. Knowing you, she's going to be held together by duct tape and hope and dreams, pretty much. I had to pop a hole in the door because it was it was uh, leaking water into like a compartment in the door of my Ranger, my truck. I had to pop a hole in the bottom of it to, leak, to empty it out. <laughs> that thing is great, man. Yes. Wow, that name is wrong. Why are you the... No. Captain Benjamin Sisko of the USS Defiant. USS... Defiant. Was successful. All right. Planet is ours. Let's go for lo logistical, civilian, strategic. Unable I'm going to do the whole nine yards. Tactical. This is going to be a key world so far away from us. What's under attack? Nothing. A little warp core breach there. I don't know what it was, but it isn't a problem now. I think we're going to fill this with uh, civilian research. Research complete. Now that we've got it, we're going to get the Jupiter types and really start getting that. Insufficient research. And we're broke. I need more money. Let's sell some Tritanium. And crash the market. A bit. Cool. That just opened up like the majority of our economic research. Yeah, we're like halfway through it now. Nice. Nice. 
Perimeter detection grid. Series of early detection buoys set up nearby gravity wells establish a reliable and secure detection of perimeter informing Starfleet Command border violations up to one jump away. Oh, nice. Let's get some intel on places too far away. And then listening post network. I think this does the exact same thing, but one jump farther. Two jumps away. Yeah. I want to know when the Borg are coming. I feel like that would be useful information. Unable to comply. Oh, it's the refit? No, it's the Excelsior. We don't actually have the research for it. Unable to comply. Scheduled already. We're good there. We've got queued up stuff for days. Oh, man. We need to make some Excelsiors, though. Now we're broke. Check when's the next Stellaris playthrough. I have no plans Station currently to do a Stellaris complete. playthrough. Research complete. I answer that question a lot. We just don't have the time for it at the moment. Uh, let's go pocket battleship again. Comply. Okay, Emissary's calling gives us just straight up more fire rate. I'm Captain Benjamin Sisko of the GSS. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys don't know, um, I'm in the process, hopefully, of finally, after over a decade of saving and talking about it and thinking about it, buying a sailboat. Research um, complete. And I'm really, really excited about it. Stand by. So that's been taking up a bit of my time. I've been driving down to Florida very often. I'm actually leaving tomorrow on a plane down there to go look at a boat. I'm so excited. I've been saving since I was in the military. It's been over a decade. It's probably been since 2008. 2006, 2008. Go ahead. What's on your and mind? And she's a, she's a giant bucket of work that needs to be done. If I end up buying this one, but I'm very, very pumped. Icefield? What? Icefield is not colonizable. And you, I actually can take over. That would give us this entire little loop almost. Complete. Hey, how are you guys doing? You've been attacking this place since the beginning of the game. Basically sitting there disabled most of the time. Yeah, all their shields are back. We might have the firepower to break that now. Let's go to this gas giant. Alter course. Alter course. Set a course. Warp nine. Bum, 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 bum. Relationship bonus. I want to make allies. I want to make allies with the Order or with the Klingons. It's actually going up with the Klingons, probably because I keep fighting the Borg when they pass through. And then me and the Klingon, the House of Katal, can kick the crap out of the Borg or die gloriously Stand in combat by. together, bringing great honor to our house. To our house. Let's go. What's already looking at? I'm looking at a, uh, it's in the low 30s range. It's a very small base. catamaran, but it is a, it's a well known. Um, I don't want to say what it is yet because I haven't bought it, but um, well known ocean, ocean capable, blue water capable boat, even if she is small for her size. Altering course. And Tabby got some plans. Bring us to Take us to war. There goes the fleet. Power. Take us out. I saw Cardassians. Battle stations. Hi. There's research. Complete. What? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold here. Hold here. No, come back. Yes. No. Abort. Power. Abort. Ah, oh, damn. The one yes. ship that I needed did not go to warp. I want to colonize this. Somebody's clear to the hostiles, and I totally want to colonize it. Go ahead. What's on your mind? Um, I need by. you. Your orders. Bring engines to full. Either are to carry a... Oh, yeah, get the hell out of there. Oh, run. Run, fleet. What is this? Oh, it's the Terran Empire planet. No! Run! Oh, they got sovereigns! With extra parts? No, screw you. Just go. Ah! Poor Miranda's... Power to the engines. Go, 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 go. How do I, how do I reintegrate now? Reintegrate, because you can't go to warp unless you're reintegrated. 
Oh, a couple of the Sabres got, got stuck out of position. The Delta Flyer's getting beat up. Sorry, Paris. Did he make it? Go ahead. What's on your mind? Okay. Oh, the Yamato was separated, so it can't go to warp. Freaking Terran Empire right in our back yes. backyard. Uh, is the extra parts okay? Yes, because we just colonized, so it must be okay. Planet of Kendar. A group of Talarian ships are heading towards you? Why? I don't know. We don't know. Oh, look, Cardassians. All right, I know what I'm putting here. We've got Cardassian culture approaching. So what we're going to do is put a subspace relay here. Logistical and tactical and then strategic. And then we're going to put phasers and photon torpedoes there. And I kind of want to put a shipyard, but it's probably unnecessary. Let's go ahead and explore the planet and see what its value is. Ash storms in this region. Man, that was rough. Don't go there. I think we lost a couple of escorts. The Imperator is that sovereign class. Should be able to scan this from range with my ship. Long range scan, activate. This is their fleet. Oh, they even have this, the textures on them. Damn. Look at that. They even have in different models. Their sovereign has a third. Status. Has a dangly bit on the top. That's the nautical term, by the way. All sections on standby. Acknowledge Starfleet. Kind of want to send the envoy up this direction. We should probably get some scouts. I do have trade stations. They're not everywhere. Yet. Station complete. Been working. We're working on it. We're working on it. Can I fit a trade station here? I need the logistical slot. I think I'm maxed. Yeah, I'm maxed. Damn. Station complete. Unable to comply. Stand by. What season was the Terran Empire? It's in a it's in the only one that doesn't have a Terran Empire episode, I think, is Voyager. Voyager didn't do a Research didn't do a Terran Empire episode. Because it wouldn't. It would have been a real hard sell, I think. What the hell? Ah, exploration ships are out there causing trouble. Fighting NASA simulators and and some bullshit. Yeah, let's get some scouts. Complete. We need to see what's out in, out in the galaxy. So, a couple of Novas. They should build pretty quickly. I'm gonna think about it. We can even watch them build if I can find the, find the bay. And they are. Research complete. Just to remind you, your envoy can use the ambassador ability to capture minor factions like the Terran Empire. No. How? How do I do this? Da, 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 da. All right, hang on. I didn't know we could do this at all. That's news to me. Deploy a Federation embassy in the sector and allows the negotiation with minor factions or sends diplomats to improve relations with major powers of the Alpha and Beta Quadrant through trade. Nope, you cannot deploy another embassy in the same system until your envoy has left and returned to the system and the cooldown has expired. Ah, oh, what does it do? And we have diplomatic immunity. Uh, shit. I need to set them as like group one. Yeah, then they're in a they're a big element in uh, Discovery season two. I actually, I did not like season one. It's no secret of Discovery. Uh, I didn't think it made any sense. It was very confusing, and it made the main character very unlikable. I actually quite enjoyed season two. It was a lot more fun. A lot more fun, felt a lot more like Star Trek. And then season three had a much more of the exploration vibe to it and far more interesting, like, character development. Uh, but God, Lower Decks is amazing. 
Hands down, best Star Trek we've had in a long time. Absolutely love it. So, Terran Empire was here? Right? No. No. Terran Empire was here. We're going to try it. I've never been so excited about diplomacy in my life. Changing heading. We're doing this. Again, a sensor scan. Actually, we do have the Maquis. Yeah, we have the Maquis right here. Let's go to the Maquis world first. Let's go make contact. Station. See if we can get the Maquis to join us. Like, if you... Don't be like me. If you haven't watched Lower Decks, don't be like me and dismiss it as a family guy. Or like, oh god, it's Star Trek, but family guy. Ignore all that. It actually has a plot. The characters have development. There is a point to mostly everything that they've done. It's wonderful. And it's definitely made by people who enjoy the originals, like Next Generation and onward, because even the original series, there's so many references. A surprising number of references to bad Star Trek episodes. <laughs> I smile so much watching Lower Decks, man. It's good. Yeah. Save here. Save here. Oh, hell yeah. The last episode? I'm not gonna... Mm, so many good moments. Baby Bandolier. This isn't from the last episode. Just... If you've watched it, you know what I'm talking about. It's amazing. Alright, how do I use this ability before they kill us? Research complete. Go! Establish a colony, or uh, no, an embassy. Deploy a Federation embassy in the sector to allow negotiations with a minor faction. All right, we're trying it. Wow, oh, look at this assets they've got here. They've got an entire fleet of coming right for us. Diplomatic community, quick. That'll make us invulnerable. Alter course. Diplomatic community. Nobody's going to get that reference. Way too old. I say that. My my analytics, uh, my largest analytic group is my age group. Whoa, it actually builds the structure? Are you all going to come and kill it, though? Standing by. All right, you get out of here. You, peace and goodwill enabled. How do I use this? Peace and goodwill. What does it do? Do the thing! Oh no, this is the... <laughs> That's the fleet! That's the wrong button! You need to get out of here, I think. This is the most... Hostile... Research complete. First contact, let's build an embassy, and they're immediately like, Let's siege an embassy! <laughs> Did you do it? Because they're shelling you right now. And you've lost shields. I don't know how the system works. Ah! Push all the buttons. Goodwill terms transport to the surface. Improving diplomatic relations. Improve those relations hard. The shields are down. Maybe it's out of range. I don't know. It did it on its own. I'm doing it. Do we need to target like a station or something? Nope, just a planet. Culture repel rates is what I get when I put my mouse over the thing. Yeah, it's from Lethal Weapon. What three, right? The one with the South African um, jerk bag. Diplomatic community has just been revoked. But Danny Glover, this is amazing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's working. Or maybe it is, and it just takes time to build up that, um, that relationship. So we have to do this a few times. Do I have the research? Oh, um, uh, maybe? I don't know. Probably not. All right, all right, all right. Hey, let's, let's pause and look into this system here. Friendly assignments. What does that do? 
Federation diplomats are now trained to offer missions to other races, hopefully benefiting both of our prospective factions. We've got earned loyalty, improve the effect of minor faction planet abilities by one. That sounds impressive. Cultural understanding. Federation diplomats go to great lengths to research and understand every nuance of culture, of the cultures that they are speaking or seeking to meet. Uh, reducing the chance of making an insulting gesture or remark. Oh, I missed a thing. I heard a, I heard a thing. Jeff, thank you for that $10 donation earlier. I appreciate that. Sorry I missed it as it popped up. Um, and thank you, Gaming with Dave, for that five earlier, about 15 minutes ago. I didn't see that one pop. I think it might have been on a break there. And then saw your video on Foxhole a while ago and want to get it, but I heard people are abusing the report ban system and it's still worth getting. I've never had that issue. Um, and I haven't seen any, I don't know anyone who's had that issue. So it's all third, third hand. So I couldn't, I couldn't speak to that. I think it's still a blast of a game. And then William, thank you for becoming a member for five months. Awesome, sir. Uh, as long as you're fighting them in orbit, I'm sure it will slow developing relations. <laughs> yeah, but I can't fight them in orbit, right? Like, I guess I'd have to kill this entire group to take that. I'm going to do these random researches. Diplomatic philosophy. Research into the history of diplomatic relations allows Federation to form long-lasting pacts. Yeah, I can't do that yet because I don't have friendly relations with the other races. I haven't even seen them yet. We'll do these other researches. Unlocks diplomatic functions. Yeah, we'll, we'll do all those things and see what happens. This is a grand experiment in the diplomacy. I would say our first diplomatic outreach to the Maquis was... It says it's using the ability. Peace and goodwill at the moment. It is actually using it. I would say it's not going particularly well. <laughs> but our ambassadorship did manage to escape. So we might be able to do it again. Understood. We might be able to attempt it again. How's the fleet doing? Fleet's fine. What do we got? Battle stations. Um, one of our ships is being attacked in this region. I am sending the fleet to. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Cancel. That would go through Terran Empire space. You gotta watch out where you tell them to go, because they will take the quickest route. Understood. And sometimes the quickest route is full of death. Now we need to get those S those tell me where to go. scout ships out there. No! Entering coordinates. See what I, I told them to auto explore and they were like, yeah, let's go through the Terran Empire. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Alter <laughs> you're gonna go there. Nope. Entering you're gonna you're gonna go there. I'm making you group four. Goobers. There's two of you, right? Acknowledge Starfleet. No, there's only one. Why did I only build one scout? Research complete. Oh, maybe the one isn't done building yet. No, I only built one. Still waiting on my, um... Shift click to plot your heading. Yeah, I just told him to go here because I can't tell him to go farther. That was a Borg ship. Standing by. Extra parts. I need you to do one of your fancy long-range scans on this world. Engage target. <gasps> oh, shit. That is a Cardassian planet, an actual Cardassian planet. The Sixth Order. Alter course. Oh no, oh no, yeah, you guys go. You guys go here and deal with that as a group, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with this. We need to take this world. That means we need to do some research into colonization, because we need a buffer zone. We need some buffer time. And I chose the right place for those torpedoes. Let's be friends. Ba -da -ba -ba. Torpedoes everywhere. Acknowledge Starfleet. Standing by. Oh man. Okay. Um. There's no indication that we've actually managed to make them friends of any kind. Like zero effect Adjusting coordinates. thus far. Um. You have a subspace relay. 
I wonder Enemy engaged. if I put another subspace relay here and push our culture onto this region, if we can get them to join us? Acknowledge Starfleet. Okay, we got a new ability. Tariffs? Hmm. Hmm. I'm very interested in this. Yay! I want the Cardassians to fight over here. Good! Maybe you'll take their shields down a little bit, and then we can show up and take the planet. The Curry can capture things in the ice field. Oh, is that my um, supporting engineering ship? <laughs> the fleet has arrived. We're sick of you attacking our scouts. Speaking of scouts, what's Nova doing? Man, you're fast. The Nova has reached... Oh, no. That's a Cardi... Yeah, that's the Cardi world we knew about. And they're moving through all the way. Yeah, we're going to have to engage these battleships. We're going to finally have to deal with this. Or the Cardassians are going to take this before we have a chance. How's our research doing? I don't want to piss the Cardassians off. Because Borg are a thing, but... So we need a curry class? Let's get a curry class. Uh, is it a cruiser? Planetary system detected. What? Search complete. Oh, it is a cruiser. No, it's a strike carrier. Are you sure it's great? Yeah, you guys might be right. I thought Research to capture complete. neutral stuff, you needed a, a colony ship. I think it's this one. I'm going to build a co on the colony ship. Wouldn't be bad to have a colony ship on standby. Standing by. Oh god, Nova. Yes, go somewhere. I don't care where, just go. Just get out of there. Oh. Can't have you stay put because you're in Cardassian space at the moment. This is why the Novas never survive very long. A Tonga destroyer, look at that thing. All sections report. Starfleet. Planetary system Well, I really just wanted the enemies the enemy ships out of our way. I do kinda wanna know what's up here. Oh, I don't have to go there. I have the extra parts. And it's got long-range sensors. Where are you, extra parts? Give me a scan of this system. The hell are you? It's Gorn! Hey, it's a Gorn! What does a Gorn ship look like? Oh, yeah, just like from Stowe. Nice. That's a Gorn planet. That entertains me. A lot. You do not control this unit. Oh, if I make friends with them, I can make their stuff? Is that how that works? All sections on standby. Acknowledge Starfleet. Damn, we're we're locked in. We got Gorn here. We got Maki here. We got Terran Empire here. We got Cardis down here. I'm moving the fleet. Uh, let's move them this way. To engage at Ferris, so we can take that world. Whoa, what do we got here? And then we got Nausicans. Bring up local star Shit, no, go that way. Better to fight the Cardassians than it is to get in the way of the Nausicans at the moment. Look at that. That's what I call a place full of doom. Envoys are better scouts because of the diplomatic rules. immunity. That's that's a fair point. And you can build silly space stations. Be ready for anything. Uh-oh. Our weird patrol ships that I have like no control over are engaging the Cardassians. I wonder if that's harming our relations. <laughs> oh no, there seems to be a um, a bit of a border skirmish going on outside of our control. Research complete. The disastrous Battle of Wolf 359 was amongst the single greatest losses in Starfleet history. 39 starships, 11,000 lives were lost in the relentless advance of a single Borg cube. To prevent such a disaster from occurring again, the Third Fleet stands ever vigilant in response to immediate threats to the security of the Federation. Now, the establishment of a far-flung colonies throughout the quadrant. Starfleet uh, help remains but a mere distress Research. call away. I think this is an ability that can happen out of outposts if we decide to build them. Uh, where is the fleet? Starfleet. A ways out still. But we have located. We have located. I want to build one of those outposts. What does it take to build an outpost? Oh, it takes... 
a... I know what it Take takes. Us Take us to warp. Let's get two more Jupiter stations online. Um, the whatchamacallit. It takes that ship. It takes the research and the ship to build it, so... Outpost construction research, go! Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of factions. Um, Klingons are a lot of fun. Because you get, you know, you get Brels. You just keep harassing those Cardassians and watch what happens at Celsius. I have no control over. Who's actually doing research to their society research structures. Research Where's the damn fleet? Here's the first fleet. Still like three jumps out. All right, well, they're on their way. Let's see if we can set up some Enemy of those engaged. mines. Prepare the colonists. Colony ship, which deploys outposts. Oh, it's the colony ship that does it. Hmm. I'm going to send you here. Acknowledge Starfleet. So does anybody know how I can make friends with the Maquis? I have the Envoy, but last time I sent it and used it. Lavish banquets, pleasant company made partying such sweet, sweet, partying such sweet, sweet are Okay, so it's parties, tariffs, establishing an Station ambassador, complete. And, and embassy, Station complete. which got blown up last time. Research complete. Um... Changing heading. Yes, yeah, so you need to manually update your mod. If you've got an old version, you've got to download the new, the last, or the version that came out last, which is the last version they're ever going to have, so you don't have to worry about updating anymore. Okay, the fleet's almost to the battlefield at Faris, which I will be able to colonize if we can take it before the Cardassians manage to move there and stop us. All the embassies to make friends... The Brel is the fix to all problems. Indeed. <sighs> Indeed. You don't have to have all this diplomacy bullshit. You can just go in there and cause havoc. Oh, these big ass warships. I'm really actually concerned. They're in, and they're leveled up because they've been killing everybody that goes through here. All right, fleet. With the Defiant as part of it. Part of it. Damn near leading the fleet. Let's get in there and cause some trouble. I'm Captain Benjamin Sisko of the USS Defiant. And give you a level up because you might as well be max level before you engage. You can see them from here. That's how big those bat those warships are. Red alert! Shields up! Man, this video is gonna get claimed so hard because I got the game music running. <laughs> Uh, so if you, if the VOD does just suddenly disappear, that's what happened. It got claimed up the butt, butt cheeks with silly. I think it's all music from games too, but I don't, I don't know. Probably gonna get claimed. Ah! Yeah, he's dead. Defiant doesn't give a crap. No, the Defiant's disabled. Cause it's got a disabling beam of some kind. Riker, thank you for the $5 donation. I think you missed my previous stream labs. Oh, sorry, dude. I'll go back and I'll, I will read that one. Uh, it's good to see you doing Star Trek Online series. Did you make a new TOS Temporal Agent character between 9.8 through 10.7? I did not. Or just regular character. I did not make one for the event. He's still disabled. Hey, he's online again. Oh, please tell me we can kill this thing. Let me get a photon torpedo volley on target. We got a level up from Cisco. Pocket battleship is the way to go. I love that his is just, he doesn't get his cloaking device, does he? We're gonna want more volleys. Fire those volleys, galaxy. I'm not gonna click saucer separation. anti better spread. Yes! We are wrecking him. Man, he's got a lot of antimatter. Take him down! If I turn this back on, will we actually be able to see its health? 
1,000 shields remaining. Let's give it a tacky on beam. Knock those shields out. Come on, Galaxy. Use that tachyon beam. Oh, his shields are already down. That's why. All right, then use your tachyon beam on this target. Ah, oh, poor extra parts can't really can't really do anything in this. Is, it's a support ship, not a combat ship. There's the tachyon beam. Wow! 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 Oh, man. Defy has taken some hits, man. Hey! One of the battleships is dead! Nice. Engage! I don't know why they're sitting around. How's everybody's health? Because we do have support ships. Oh, no! Oh, that's one of the, um... One of the ones I didn't build. One of the ones you just get. Look at the Centaur. I think the Centaur is a cool looking ship. This is your anti-fighter ship. Which gets tacky on emissions. It means it can detect cloaked ships, I believe. Yeah, cloaked ships. Alright, what's going on in the greater galaxy at the moment? Threat reports. Uh, nothing but that main fight going on. There's a couple more enemy frigates coming in from a pirate raid. This poor bastard's so disabled. Get him! And Tachyon Beam this target with the full shields. No, this guy's got shields. Scratch that. Tachyon Beam this target. Somebody leveled up. Tachyon Beam upgrades! There you are. Do a run on the Cardassians. I have been holding back on fighting the Cardassians. Ah, those other ships have actually decided to join this fight. Those ones that just arrived. So this is a three-way fight now. The Miranda's in the background. There is something weird with the pathfinding. They used to move a lot smoother. I don't know what they changed. They used to not do that stop and then start again. I think we're about won this battle. Nope, they still have a ship here. And the Centaurs are not having any of it. They're going after those newer ships that just arrived. Yeah, group one, focus your fire. Um, we're out of antimatter on our special abilities, sadly. Why am I so focused on this? I can't do a scan. Anything in range? I don't think. Can I scan this? I can scan this, and this is a dead end system. Whoa. They're having the same problem. This is the Cardassians with their capital ships. Um, having the same problem I am. They've got one of these warships in this nebula down here, FS-112, and they're just stuck fighting it. That's funny. I can scan it because Extra Parts has that long-range device. Get more research. Oh, God. Yeah, look at my money. Let's do the third fleet research since we now got the outpost. Let's pick up better weapons, tachyon detection grid. Um, We need territory. That's our... That's kind of our hold up. On research. I mean, we can get this. Pick up the heavy torpedo salvos or the stations. We'll pick up the last of the earned loyalty. One planet left. Or one, one battleship left. What the hell are you? What is, what is this from? This looks really familiar. The name doesn't. Vanatic? Vanatic? We're maxed on research, guys. I basically researched everything until we get... Um... Mm, colonized here. Enemy. 
we miss? Herogen. Oh, it's a Herogen ship. Yeah. Save. We've got any more. Oh, we can. We can get more Jupiter stations. That'll open up some research for us. Now we can dump a bunch of... Went into our economy. Quantum slipstream. Oh, that's other star systems. I don't think there are any other star systems. Not necessary. Wormholes, even though we haven't seen any. And planetary science labs. By order of Starfleet 2027, planetary science labs are to be installed on board all Federation capital ships, allowing officers to conduct scientific research from any location. Interesting. Unable to comply. Do the mining ship upgrades, and then that means we're going to have to... Oh no, these are our trade ship upgrades. Hell yeah. That's going to be bank. We are now maxed out on research. Red Squad! Hey. Acknowledge Starfleet. Prepare the docking bays. Okay. Battle stations. You Voyager has an upgrade. Standing by. Station complete. So where should we go now? We could try out some more diplomacy. Um, Acknowledge Starfleet. I could go against the Cardassians here and take this world. Research complete. That wasn't really my plan, but kind of blocked in on all sides now. We could go take this back world. I think we're going to get a couple of airy stations. Uh-oh, we're under attack. Unable to comply. Unable to comply. That's going to take a while. Battle stations. What's under attack? Oh, the Cardassians have sent a small fleet to cause trouble. Alter course. I Research guess we are going complete. to engage the Cardassians. Acknowledge Starfleet. All right. Battle stations. Move the fleet against the Cardassians in Cataract. While they engage my defenses that I've already set up here. Get wrecked. We even got some of those. Adjusting coordinates. Patrols. All right, here we go. Oops. Camera went all wonky. Hi, guys. By. Oh, there's a poor... <laughs> the, the prophecy. There's an enemy capital ship here. Um, Research complete. One of the Galar class is what it looks like. And I don't think he's going to make it. I think we're definitely at that point where we can get our fleet some like huge upgrades. Like, let's get the refit going and get the Akirion. Akira oh, we can get the Fire too. Nice. Yeah, we got the space stations for it now. We're going to blow all of our money. I recognize these. Prometheus capital ship and the and Picard. It's another Enterprise. Oh, you poor prophecy. Shields are down. 3,000 health left. He's preparing to go to warp. Ah, you got away. Ah, all right. Go capture the planet. Don't you voice a Cardi ship, Shaq? Oh, no, you're right. I think I do voice a Cardi ship in this. It's been a long time. How are we doing over here, defenses? Phaser turrets. You getting work done? Can I make you better? Um, not really. Not the moment. 
I mean, I can give you better plated armor. Station complete. And proximity torpedo modes. And better phaser banks. Actually, I can make you better in every way. Our planet is under attack. Which planet? You're a planet. Oh, crap. What was that noise? Be ready for anything. Okay, the torpedoes should be able to handle that problem, no problem. What the hell? <gasps> what? They joined the Klingon Empire! Does the music change? The Maquis, who I tried to make contact with, joined the Klingon Empire. Oh no. Oh no. Colonization was successful. All right, everybody. On that note, we are going to end the stream. I'm going to pick this back up next uh, next Saturday. And we find out what happened with the Maquis joining the Klingons. I guess they didn't really like the party that I threw for them with that space station. I can't believe they joined. I can't believe they... they what did you guys do? What kind of crap is that? Hold on, I have to get a great screen, like a great screenshot of this. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Bow, bow. Oh, wait, that's like that's a pretty good angle. Ah, oh, Spartan Mando, thank you for the ten dollar donation. Appreciate you. There we go. Got a screenshot. Can't believe it. Yeah, if you guys don't see this as a VOD, you, you'll know what's up. It's because claims and shenanigans. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will be gone for the weekend, but there will be some videos here on the channel. Uh, we got another Stowe episode. Um, and I think we have another Empire War episode coming up. So those are coming soon. And then I will catch you all when I'm back. Getting of the week. Have a wonderful day. They're about to bring great honor to their house.